You know those stationery shops that just get you? It's like you feel like they're supplying their stores with things for you. That's Desk Gems for me. I absolutely love shopping with them. June is the coolest. She is the coolest rapping. And I always love that she has like a new stamp artist to introduce me to. She's got new cool like novelty items, new washi tapes for my favorite creators, all these things. And then I have to buy. And the reason that I actually went and purchased from her this time was actually for a very small reason. So I have this Sailor Hikoro pen that I got a number of shopping sprees ago. And I thought it was really cool. Cool little dip pen, but the problem is, is it writes not very much and the ink runs out. So you're constantly dipping your pen. So she just sent out an email was like, hey, we sell these ink feeds now for these little pens and they're three bucks. And I was like, I have to get it. So in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing what I bought, some Muwashi tapes. I got the little ink feed. I got another nib for this thing as well. Um, another pocket notebook. You'll see what I got inside of here. The big part though is we'll be doing a writing sample with this pen today. So you can see how it writes without the ink feed. And then we're gonna add the new ink feed to it to see how much better it is. Fingers crossed that it's better because I think this little pen is pretty cool, but I'm not going to use it and I haven't been using it if it really can't write for longer than like a line or two. So we'll go ahead and get into our unboxing. But before we get started, I've been looking at my analytics on this channel and I noticed that over 75% of the people watching these videos are not subscribed. So if you're one of those people, consider subscribing. If you like this type of unboxing content, stationary lovers unite work bullet journal content, I'm here for you. We have a lot of fun and hopefully you've checked out a video before. So I think it's time you hit that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get into our unboxing and definitely check out this pen and what this ink feed is gonna do for us. Every time I get a package from Desk Gems, I just love the way it looks. I used to try to save a lot of the washi and stuff, but honestly, at this point now, there's just no point. I'm never gonna use all the little pieces, but I do love the little notes and the handwritten notes from June whenever I order from her. It's just, it's just great and I love that um, I get to support her shop brand. One of the main reasons that I made this purchase from Desk Gems is I actually bought this Sailor Hikoro dip pen uh, a few shopping sprees ago. And I think it's very cool. It's nice and easy to use. It's super lightweight. But the problem is it only writes maybe a line when you dip it with the ink. And that was ridiculous. And I wasn't using it. And then I saw that they just came out or started to sell these Hikoro feeds. And that way you attach it to the bottom of here and it holds on to a lot more ink. So I'm really excited to see exactly how much is a lot more ink when we're using this today. I also got another nib. I'm a big fan of these. Like I said, I think it's really cool. They all snap in. So I got a different size and we'll be checking that out as well. Now, of course, whenever I'm shopping for like one thing, I have to get more things from that. So I actually saw this really cool felt tip pen that you fill with your own ink. So we'll be taking a look and trying that out today as well. I also got two new stationary items from Eric Small Things. I'm a huge fan of Eric Small small things. Probably one of my favorite creators. So anytime she puts out new stamps or new tapes or anything like that, I'm a big fan. So we'll be taking a look at those today as well. I've also just loved shopping on that shop because you never really know what you're going to find. So we got some real cool clear stickers that I can add inside of my bullet journal. And then I've just been like addicted to buying these little tiny notebooks recently. So when I saw these from the city notebook, I was like, all right, I have to get it, you know, let's just add on to it. So we'll be taking a deeper look into this today too. Let's go ahead and start with the washi tape first. So a lot of the times you'll hear me actually talk about how I don't really use washi tape a whole lot inside of my bullet journal. And that's not an untrue statement, but I think more than anything is I can't always find washi tape that I like. A lot of it tends to be very floral, uh, very feminine, and that isn't what my bullet journal looks like. And that's okay, but I don't have to force it. <laughs> and I've tried it a lot. I also haven't found like great ways to really use it. So what I ended up getting this time around from Eric Small Things um, was this washi tape that I felt like, you know what, I can can cut these pieces if I want to and kind of add them as like almost like stickers inside of my bullet journal. So I'll kind of pull it out here so you can take a look at it. So it has all these different scenes on it. You know, one of the things I love about Eric Small Things is that she just has these really cool like doodles, I guess I could call really illustrations, right? And they're just nice, right? How are you? Nice day. Uh, it was a good night. And a lot of these items I actually have in different type of stamps um, that I already have, like the watch and stuff like this. I've got the whole music collection. So really, I mean, well, at this point, of course, I would have all of that. I have almost everything from Eric Small. <laughs> so I'm excited for this. I'm excited to kind of cut these pieces and add them to my notebook as like quick headers. And I think that would look nice. And then I got this other one here as well. 
And it's just really cool. It's like nice and dark, right? <laughs> it's just very like narrow, washi tape. And it's the same deal with this as well. Um, Use this in strips. And it's just fun, right? It just says fun stuff. It might be a little bit maybe difficult to see. It says things like enjoy. It has stationery on here, coffee, little lights, cameras, just things that I feel like I can most certainly use inside of my bullet journal. The next item that I got here is actually from Mind Wave, and these are sheer photo color seals. Uh, very much like a brown neutral type of tones here. Uh, what's really neat about them, as you can see like right here on the back, like they're not a full sticker, they're a little transparent. And I thought these were really neat. I feel like I can use these right inside of my bullet journal again. I could put dates inside of there if I wanted to. They're just kind of shapes. I could probably draw these myself. I'm sure I could. Maybe this will inspire me to just use more mild liners or things like that instead. But I thought that they were really nice and they were on a discount. I only paid, I don't even know, maybe under a dollar or two for it. So I had to say yes. So I'm excited to try these out inside of my bullet journal. All right, the next item that I got here is just one of these small pocket notebooks from CD Notebook. Really just loving these little sizes. I've been using these a lot for quick notes and ink sketches. They handle fountain pen ink beautifully. Um, this one also is super neat. I was just flipping through it a minute ago and noticing that it has the page numbers in the bottom corner, which are super cool, but they're counting backwards. <laughs> So I'm assuming that you can know how many pages you have left as you're going through, or perhaps if you are writing this notebook uh, from right to left instead of left to right, you also have your page numbers inside of here. It does have a little index here in the front, which I thought was really nice. And then it does have like a little section, writing section here in the back, which you could also use as an index if you wanted to uh, without having it written out. You could write it, especially if you're writing in a different language. It's all here for you. Um, I thought it was so incredibly nice and I love having these as a part of my collection. All right, so this next item I'm like ridiculously excited for because I am all about cool little novelty things. So this is a felt tip pen that you fill with your own ink. So think about it like a marker that you get to do stuff with. And I think that's pretty neat. So I'm not going to fill this up today. I feel like that's like a whole other process video for us, especially it being new. Like, what does that experience look like? Um, so the way that it works is you just dip this inside of your ink that you want to use, and it'll go ahead and suck the ink up inside of here like a marker tube. Then you're going to go ahead and press it in. And down here, you can see where it has the feed. So that needs to go inside of your marker, right, to start soaking that up. And then I have a felt tip on the end here that you can use. It also has a plug that you put on the end here to keep everything inside of the barrel. And these little ink stickers here if you wanted to use that. But who's going to actually say what color it is? I can see at least what maybe what color it is. <laughs> but really excited to try this. I've never, ever, ever seen this before. So when I saw it on the side, I knew that I had to at least try it. I'll put the direct links for you down in the descriptions below for this too. This is just one of those things that's like, uh, we got to try this out. How is it going to work inside of our journals? Those are the type of questions that we're going to need answers to. Okay, and the real reason I ever even came onto the website this time around <laughs> is for these items here. Really for this item, but then they had something else I had to buy. So a few shopping trips ago, I got this really cool Hakoro dip pens from Sailor. And it just looked really nice to me because it's made out of plastic. It's just like low maintenance, right? Like nothing extra here. You take out the tip, you pop it right in here. You've got your, you know, your barrel, you're holding on to it and you're running with it. But let me take out a piece of paper real quick and some ink and I'll show you the problem that I have with this pen. All right. So I'm just using some of the platinum, just pigment ink, this blue color. So I bit my pen. I have the ink on here. Let's go ahead and just start writing with it just to get a little bit of an ink sample. So I've got about eight lines on here with it, which is actually not terrible, right? It's if you're writing with a dip pen, um, but the whole idea is that you want it to hold more, right? As you want to do that. So to do that, they now sell this feed. So I've gone ahead and unwrapped it here. And when we go ahead and open this up, you'll see we have the small feed here in the bottom and then our instructions on how to do this. So I think it's just uh, super easy, hopefully, to pop this on here. We'll see exactly how it works out. But you're just popping it into the tip. You're pushing it up against the nib. And then we should be able to see that black feed behind this here. So let's go ahead and see how I do. 
And from a price perspective, um, I think this pen maybe was like $14.50 when I first bought it here, which isn't, you know, I guess it depends like how you look at it. Like, is that a lot of money? Is it not? But if you want the nib, say you already have this and you just want the nib, the nib is only three bucks. But if you want to get a pen with the feet already in it, it's $15.50. So it's like, it's worth it, I think. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and take this and put this inside the little hole there. We just made like a little bit of a snapping noise. There you go. And like, there's a little, you see the little heart that's inside of there. There is a little piece of plastic that snapped all into place here. So what do we get? We said eight lines uh, off of doing this. So now that we have the feed, we should get a whole lot more. So let's see how much further we can go with our nib now on our page sample here. So I made it to the bottom of the page. I think that this thing could still keep writing. I don't know that it ever will run out of ink, <laughs> but that's so crazy. And this makes me so happy to think that a $3 pen feed, an extra $3 has turned a cool pen and a cool idea into something that I can actually use more now. Because before I wasn't using this, if I could only write a handful of lines, and this is actually writing kind of small too, compared to how I usually write, no, I'm not using it. I wasn't using it. It was just sitting on my desk. So I'm really excited that I saw that this was available. And uh, just by adding that one little piece in there, I think it made an absolute world of a difference. Let's actually see how much ink is, is left in here if we go ahead and rinse it. Look at that. Oh, there is so much more ink. <laughs> I could have been doing that for a while. So that is incredibly impressive. Um, I don't really have words. I'm so thrilled about it now. And I guess I can just, you know, let this just kind of dry out a little bit. But then when I'm done and after it's dried out, I can just store it right away. So that feed isn't something that I have to put on and off of my pen. I can go ahead and just keep it on there all the time, use it as that dip pen right with it, clean it off inside of some water real quick, let it dry off and then put it away. So really excited about that. Maybe the best buy of the year, a $3 ink feed. <laughs> So while I was on there, I, of course, had to buy something else. Like, how could I not do that? So what I got here is just a calligraphy nib. So we'll go ahead and open this up. So this has the feed already installed on it. So you can see the difference here between the two. So we have like our dip pen writing nib and then our calligraphy uh, nib here. So they're interchangeable. So I can just pop off the old nib, pop on the new one. And uh, let's open up a new page and just give it a quick try just to see what it looks like. I didn't know what it was going to look like when I purchased it. We'll go ahead and use the same ink that we already had out before. And then now I feel like I have to write extra fancy. What do we start with always? We start with hello. And definitely excited to continue using this uh, for all kinds of things. So, so kind of join my uh, Kakamori nibs that I can replace. I didn't buy an extra body, but um, if I really wanted to, you can also just purchase extra bodies for these along with the nibs or with the nibs on the body. It's totally up to you. It's kind of insane to think that a small little piece of plastic can totally change your excitement about a product. Like I was excited for it when I first got it and then realized you could only write what a handful of lines. And then now this little ink feed just what, elongates that tenfold. It's insane. I'm so excited. I'm excited to try out the other nibs, the washi tape, the stickers. You'll see all the stuff inside of my work bullet journal. We have a lot of fun. That's for darn sure over here. I'm excited to continue with unboxings. Um, we've got some other reviews coming up for you. And then always our bullet journal ideas and working inside of our work bullet journal. If you're a fan of any of those things and you're not already subscribed, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Tap that bell. That way you're notified when we've got some new fun videos coming out. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today always love having you here as a part of the crew and I'll chat with you next time. Happy planning.